Hi, this is Oscar, and welcome to another Know How with ServiceNow. In this episode, we're going to leverage Bootstrap embedded in ServiceNow platform to create a widget with an accordion that has collapsible panels. Based on the documentation from Quebec release, ServiceNow has embedded Bootstrap version 336, and we're going to leverage Bootstrap in order to create this accordion. So we have three collapsible panels and we're gonna take the documentation from Bootstrap in order to build these collapsible panels in the service portal within ServiceNow. The first thing we need to do is to open the service portal configuration and then click on widget editor. We're going to create a new widget Let's name it Collapse Panel Widget. But also let's create a test page and we call it Collapse Panel Demo. So we're going to see that the widget will be created but also the demo page. So let's just type hello, save it, and open the service portal and append the URL, the ID of the page we want to open. So there we go. We have our test page and we have our widget. So now let's copy the panel. So if we go back to the documentation for Bootstrap, what we can do is basically inspect the element and obtain the entire HTML code that we're going to leverage. We just need to find the exact one. So here we have as you can see, we have a div class accordion ID accordion example. So we need to copy this element, go back to our widget, and paste this entire code. And then we can just ident, save, and get back to the page. So we reload the page. We see we have the collapsible panels, but the look and feel is not great as it is in the Bootstrap page, right? So if we click here, we are seeing that this actually works. It is collapsing those panels, but the panels doesn't have the look and feel that we have on the Bootstrap page. However, this is working. Okay, so let's fix the look and feel of this page. What we need to do is to go back to the HTML and on the class accordion then we start looking into the styles that are being used on this particular page. So these styles, classes, are the ones that we have available from Bootstrap. So for example, if we click on the card, we can see that we have styles that we need to copy. So let's do that. Let's right click copy rule, go back to our widget editor. We don't need the server and we don't need the client at the moment. So I'm going to hide those and I'm going to bring the CSS. I'm going to paste the card, CSS rule. I'm going back. Then I see here another CSS rule. I copied this one, I go back and paste it. 
Once you revisit the CSS styles that are being used in the Bootstrap documentation for this accordion, and you're making sure that you copy all the CSS from this accordion to your widget, then you can modify the fonts or any colors that you might want. In this example, I have modified the font weight. I have just comment these lines of the CSS because the font was too small. And after applying all those changes only on the CSS, then the end result is the accordion in this widget. So I can expand the three panels and I can collapse those three panels. As you can see, we're just using pure HTML, CSS classes, and CSS style sheet in the widget itself. To see how Bootstrap works, what I'm gonna do is to add another um, table that use uh, Bootstrap CSS classes. So here I'm going to refer to this options table. As you can see, it has colors, different colors on the rows. It is bold by default on the header. And what I'm going to do is just inspect, grab the entire table, copy the element, and I'll go to my widget. And here, what I'm going to do is to modify the body. So here is the body, and this is the text within the body. So I'm going to remove the text, and I'm going to paste the table that I just copied from the Bootstrap documentation page. So I'm going to indent the HTML code, okay, and save it. I'm going to reload the page, and I will expand the first panel. Now, as you can see, this is a collapsible panel, and the content of this panel is a table using Bootstrap CSS classes, and that's how you can leverage Bootstrap in ServiceNow. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.